Yo, so what's going on, Battlefielders? My name is Pwn. This is another Battlefield Bad Company 2 video coming at you guys. You're like, whoa, Pwn, it's Thursday. That means it's aggressive recon, Mr. Guy. I got that goal, that G-O-L in my hand right now, and we are getting our aggressive recon on. But no one ever said it had to be just BF3, baby. No one ever said that. Hold that C4. Oh, the things I miss. If Battlefield 4 does not have tossable C4, I'm done. How many times have you been on a roof or had to get like right up next to a dude and you're like, hey, hey, hold this C4 for me. I can't throw that far. I'm a pussy. You know what I mean? So it's just always like, it's just, it's one of the things I have a bick with. There was another one right there. I just hit that dude in the head. You saw the blood flow from the head. That was a complaint that I had about BC2 is there were many times you would shoot a guy, you'd see the false signature of blood, uh, maybe a twitch of the body, some kind of you know, obvious, visible reason that this guy got hit by the bullet, but you don't get so much as a hit marker or a kill. So I don't know how the hit detection was in BC2, but there were lots of times that I would just straight blast a dude and he'd walk away with it. That was my only complaint with sniping in Bad Company 2, is it seemed that there was always a moment where I... Oh my god, was that a body that just flew by? <laughs> but it always seemed like I would shoot a guy and nothing would come from it. And another thing about Battlefield, one thing that always frustrates me, I'm just in wine mode right now, is nature, whether it be the sun or trees laying everywhere. Ooh, look at that spawn quick scope. Yeah, that's right, I called it that. Get mad, get mad, blame Cod, go back to Cod Pwn, don't care. So, the thing, oh, I shot his cankles, he survived with it, nice. Yeah, I pistol whip. You don't see me do that often, I don't know why, I rarely ever switch to mine. It's something I don't do in B, uh, BF3, really. It's something I only picked up in BC2, and I don't know why, because it's easier to kill in BC2. Maybe it's just a... I don't know. Maybe I just want to go on streaks or something. I have no clue. Now, my I, what I want to do is I want to review uh, sniping to date and then talk about what I want to see, um, I guess, out of Battlefield 4. With that collateral spawn, got to love that. And basically, the concept I'm talking about. In BC2, it was easy. You'd just run around. You'd move around. You'd shoot people. Uh, you could always weapon swap. There's always a little bit of comfort between using those. They had great weapons back then. Uh, you had the GOL, M24. The weapons were incredible. Not saying the new ones aren't, but it was just something different. You guys know what I'm talking about. This game was built for it. Shut up, foam. This game was built for it, where you could just run up next to a guy. Now, not ever have I seen somebody complain about snipers. I mean, I know it's been out there, because even people in Call of Duty complain about it. Other games complain about snipers. But where are you going, Mr. Guy? I gotta love this little clip right here. Get turned on, and then... Oh, you out of range? Nah, bro. Whoop! Gotta love it. So, the thing is, is... When playing with uh, snipers, you know, BC2 is great. You'd be able to run forward, you'd be able to snipe, you'd be able to get aggressive. But rarely were people being that aggressive with snipers. Most people stayed back about medium range, maybe long range, got killed guys. But usually the only time they ever got a close range kill is, and this is most of the players from my experience, any of the time they really got a kill is if, you know, an attacker or a defender was getting aggressive got close to the attacker and he just had to kill you quick close instead of switching to a secondary you just got too close to a guy that had a sniper and he was able to kill you but rarely do you see them get right up in your face and um that's okay though most of the time there's a good chance they'll miss or even even more uh possible is is hitting low on your body and you'll be okay so up to now battlefield bad company 2 i think has the most successful game in the battlefield franchise with sniping it was a one-shot kill to the chest and head and it was pretty easy and comfortable to do Battlefield 3, I think, smashed the recon class. They obliterated it with a couple reasons. Now, these are the two reasons that I think sniping is really, really horrible in Battlefield 3. One of which is suppression. Whenever your head's up against a guy, suppression generally eliminates the chance of you hitting that guy. I mean, you could shoot a guy 30 rounds while suppressed and hit him with 5 from any medium range. Uh, when it comes down to sniping, generally, when you're aiming right where you need to, it's not even going to come close to hitting that general vicinity. So... When it comes down to it, I think suppression just, just tore apart what recons were. So if you have any sort of suppression on you, you're just not going to be able to be capable of doing anything, which really, really frustrates me. On top of that, it's only a headshot to kill. Rarely do you even get that just that elusive body shot that they tell you get a one-shot kill. Can you get them? Yeah. But generally, if you hit the arms, the elbows, the hands, anything in front of the body, which generally is usually in front of the body, it's going to eat the shot. It doesn't penetrate it. It doesn't kill the guy. So that's generally a frustration point. So I think if they're trying to balance out recon, they're trying to make it so snipers are actually simple and they have a role in the experience, I think what they need to do is they need to, they need to branch it out. I think it needed to be a little bit more difficult. But I think it needs to be one of two things. Either A, they need to eliminate suppression, 
with suppression being gone, it means I'm okay with it only being a headshot and the occasional body shot. Because even in a close range situation, it means my shots are actually going to go where they need to. And without preem accuracy, you know what I mean? I'm not going to have any sort of relevance in the team. Or B, they give back the head and chest shot. Now, that would encourage campers because at that point, then people can still stay from long range and get people. That would encourage a, a little bit more aggressive play. But if suppression is still in the game, it would be kind of stupid to run right up on a guy and go for just body shots and head shots because at that point, it's going to be a little bit more stronger because suppression is still a factor. Either way, I think one of those two should still stay and remain in the game to kind of balance it out so they can't be too aggressive. But even if I had to pick which game it had to be more like, it would be BC2 where there was a limited suppression where it was basically just uh, screen blur, a little bit of blood, a little bit of reddening and darkening. But other than that, I think BC2 did it right with aggressive recon and I would like to see something like this come back. And that's just how I feel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the sniping, how you think it should change and everything like that. Be sure to drop a like rating on the video. Thanks for watching. Put a comment down below about what kind of aggressive recon loadout you would like to see next week, be it BC2 or BF3, guys. Peace out, guys. Get it.